In this two-part video series, I'll be demonstrating how to use Blender to make this image of a ceramic cup with a handle. I'll be using Blender version 2.64. So to start, go to the File menu and select New. And then just click on Reload Startup File. And then come over to this drop-down menu and select Cycles Render. Some of the older versions of Blender may not have the Cycles Render engine. If you don't have this selection, then you can go to Blender.org to download the latest version of Blender. If you're brand new to Blender, then there are a couple of things that you should know. If you want to select an object, then right-click on it. For example, if I right-click on this camera here, it will select it. And then to select my object again, I just right-click on it. If you want to rotate an object, then press and hold the middle mouse button and then you can move the mouse around and that will rotate the object. If you press and hold the shift key and then press the middle mouse button, then you can pan the view around. And if you use the scroll wheel on the mouse, then you can zoom in and out. Now the first thing that we want to do is to delete this cube. So right click on it to make sure it's selected and then press the delete key on the keyboard and then click on Delete. Then go up to the Add menu and select Mesh and Cylinder. And now come over here to this section on the left called Add Cylinder. And how we do this next step depends upon which version of Blender that you're using. If you're using version 2.64 like I am, then you should see Cap Fill Type. If you have an older version of Blender that does not have this, then you can skip this step. But if you see Cap Fill Type, then open the menu selection and select Triangle Fan. And now let's use the scroll wheel to zoom in on this a little bit closer. And then open this menu right here and change this to Edit Mode. And then open this menu and choose Wireframe. And then right click on this top center point to select it. And then press the Delete key on your keyboard and then click on Vertices. And that will delete the top portion of this cup. And now I'm going to be changing the view by pressing some keys on the number pad. In Blender, the numbers on the right side number pad are different than the numbers on top of the keyboard. So when I press numbers to change the view, I'm using the right side number pad. If you're using a computer that does not have a right side number pad, then you can use the View menu down here. And here you will find the selections that you can use instead of the number pad. So I'm going to press the number 1 on the number pad to give me a front view. And pressing 5 toggles between Perspective and Orthogonal mode. I'm currently in Perspective mode, so now I'll press 5 on the number pad to switch to Orthogonal mode. And then I'll use the scroll wheel to zoom in. And now put your cursor over the object and press Ctrl R. Ctrl R is the subdivide loops command. With the cursor still over the object, use the scroll wheel and scroll up until you have four lines. And then press the left mouse button. An important key to remember while you're editing is the letter A. Pressing the letter A toggles between selecting everything and turning all selections off. So right now if I press A, then everything will be deselected. And if I press A again, everything will be selected. Right now I want everything deselected, so I'll press A again. And now let's select just the top vertices. To do that, press and release the B key on the keyboard. And then press and hold the left mouse button while you drag the selection box around the top vertices. And then release the left mouse button. And now I'm going to move these top vertices down some, and I can do that by left-clicking on this arrow, and then I'll just drag the arrow down. And then next I can scale these vertices by pressing the S key. And after pressing the S key, I can use my mouse to scale these, or I can enter in a number directly. And I want to scale this by 90%, so I'm going to type in 0.9, and then press Enter. And then I'll press the A key to deselect everything. And then I'll press the B key like I did before. 
and then press and hold the left mouse button and this time I'm going to draw the selection around these vertices. And then I'll press S to scale and this time I'm going to type 1.05 and then press enter. And then I press A to deselect everything and then next I'll press the B key and then I'll draw the selection box around these bottom vertices. And then press S to scale and type 0.8 and then the enter key. And that will scale this to 80%. And then I can press the A key to deselect everything. And this is the basic shape of our cup. Next we're going to make the handle of the cup. So come back down here to this menu and select object mode and then go to this menu and select solid. And now I'm going to pan across this view to give myself some space to work. So I hold down the shift key and then I hold the middle mouse button and I drag this off to the left. And then come over to this area and click with the left mouse button to give yourself an origin point. And then go up to the add menu and select curve and path. Now I'll use the scroll wheel to zoom out a little bit so I can see this whole path. And with this path selected, we need to go into edit mode. So come down here to this menu and select edit mode. And you should notice now along this path that we have five nodes here that we can move around. So right click on this first node to select it. And then we can use these arrows to move this node around. This arrow moves it up and down and this arrow will move it to the left and to the right. And I'm using my left mouse button to drag these arrows. And this black line that you see right here, this is our path. And we're going to adjust these nodes until this path looks like a handle. And we'll start by putting the nodes into their approximate position and then zoom in to fine tune the positions. So right click on this node and move it up and over. and then click on the far right node and move it down and I'll zoom out a little bit so that I can grab this arrow and I'll move this over to the left and then right click on this node to select it and move it over here and then right click on this node and bring it in some. So now let's zoom in on this so that we can fine tune the positions. The handle is going to connect to the cup at this position here and also at this position here. So this first node looks like it's in a good position. This node down here I need to bring it up some. And I'll move this node over to the left a little bit and down. And then I'll adjust this one down here. And then finally, I'll select this one right here and pull it in. So now this black line here is going to be the shape of our handle. Now come back down to this menu here and select Object Mode. And then go up to the Add menu and select Curve and Circle. And this is the circle that we created. And I'll rotate the view so that you can see this better. And if you recall, to rotate the view, I just press and hold the middle mouse button while I drag the mouse. And then next we want to scale the circle to be 20% of its size. So press the S key to scale, and then type 0.2, and then press the Enter key. And we're going to be using this circle to give our handle a shape along the path here. If you look up here, you can see the name of this circle that we just created. And let me expand this out so that we can see it better. And the circle is called Bezier Circle. And to apply this circle to our handle, first select the handle by right clicking on it. And then come over here and click on the Object Data button that looks like a little path. And then down here you should see a geometry section. And in this section is an entry box called Bevel Object. So click on this entry box and select the Bezier circle. And now we have just applied the circle shape to our handle. 
changes that we make to the circle now will be applied to our handle and we're going to change the circle resolution. So right click on the circle to select it and under the resolution section press this little triangle on the left side of preview multiple times until the value equals 1. And you can see that our circle has now changed to a square shape. And if I rotate our view you can see at the end of the handles it's also a square shape. The next thing that we need to do is to convert our handle into a mesh object. So to do that, right click on the handle to select it and then press Alt-C and then click on Mesh from Curve. And now that we've converted our handle to a mesh, we can delete our circle. So right click on the circle, which is now a square, press the Delete key on the keyboard and then click on Delete. And now let's verify that our handle is lined up properly. So press the number 7 on the number pad so that we can go into top view. And then I'll press the shift key and then press and hold the middle mouse button while I drag this over to pan the view. So the handle looks like it's lined up properly. So then next press the number 1 on the number pad to switch to front view. And let's move the cup a little bit closer to the handle. So right click on the cup to select it and then just grab this arrow and you can slide this over. Now we're going to join the cup and the handle together to make them a single object. Even though they are not touching they can still be made into a single object. So to do this we need to select them both and the cup is already selected so we can add the handle to the selection by holding down the shift key and then right click on the handle. And then to join these two into a single object press Control J. Now that the cup and the handle are a single object we can edit them together. So come down here and select Edit Mode. And now we need to connect the handle to the cup. So start by pressing the A key to deselect everything. If you look down here you'll see three buttons with cubes on them. Press the third button that has the face of a cube highlighted. This will allow us to select faces from our object. And now let's rotate the object by holding down the middle mouse button. And I'm going to be deleting some faces on this cup. So right click on this face right here and then hold down the shift key and right click on this face so that we can select two at once. And then press the delete key on the keyboard and come down here and click on Faces. And then rotate this object up and right click on this face. Press the Shift key and right click on this face. And then press the Delete key on the keyboard and then click on Faces. Now we're ready to join the handle to the cup. So come back down here to these three buttons with cubes on them and select this middle button that has the edge highlighted. This will allow us to select edges from our object. Now we're going to join the edge of this handle with this edge and this edge. And so right click on this edge to select it. Hold down the shift key and right click on this edge. And while you're still holding the shift key, right click on this edge. And now press the F key on the keyboard and that will add a face that joins all three of these edges together. So let's repeat this on this other side here. So right click on this edge, hold down shift, click on this edge and this edge, and then press F. And then underneath the handle, right click on this edge to select it, and then hold down the shift key and click on this edge, and then press F, and then do the same on this side. So right click on this edge, hold down shift, right click on this edge and press F. And now we'll repeat all of this for the bottom side of the handle. So I'll select this edge, this edge, and this edge and press F. Then I'll select these three edges and press F. And then I'll select this edge and this edge and press F. And then finally I'll select this edge 
and this edge and press F. And then I can press the A key to deselect everything. And now would be a good time for us to save what we have so far. So you can do that by going up to the file menu and select save as. And you can select your directory right here and then you can give it a name right here. So I'm going to name this cup.blend. Blend is the extension name that Blender uses. And then just come over here and click on the Save as Blender file. Well that concludes this video. In the next video, we'll finish the cup and then render the final image. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe and leave a comment.